All right, now we're going to look at a different core concept of perfect square trinomials. Now here there's three pieces that have to always be true. The first term must be a perfect square and the last term must be a perfect square. So those are the easy parts. The middle term must always be two times the square roots of those last two terms. Notice also that the last terms are always added. And then the other thing is, is if the middle term is positive, then the sign in the binomial is positive. If the middle term is negative, then the sign is negative. So if we look at the examples they give us here, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Well, x is squared, 3 is squared, and the middle term is 2 times x times 3. So now it's a perfect square trinomial, and I can write it as x plus 3 all to the second power. And again, the only thing that's different in the next one is that this is a minus, which means then that must be a minus there. So if we take a look here, we notice that n is a perfect square, or n squared is a perfect square, so that's n squared. 16 is a perfect square of 4 squared. And so now is the middle term 2 times n times 4? And it is, because 2 times n times 4 is 8n. So now I can just write this as n plus 4 all to the second power. This one, 4x squared is a perfect square because that's 2x all to the second. 9 is a perfect square because that's a perfect square of 3. And so now I have to check, is this 2 times the first term times that last term? And 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. So it works. So now it's 2x, and because this term was negative, minus 3 all to the second power. So a little bit more to special or perfect square trinomials than difference of two squared paths. So if we look at this one, this has three terms, so it looks like it could be a perfect square trinomial. Again, x is a perfect square, or x squared is a perfect square. One ninth is a perfect square because it's one third all to the second. And so then is the middle term two times x times one third. And two times one third is two thirds x. So that matches that middle term. So now I'm ready to write it as my binomial all to the second power. And letter B now is only two terms. So, and it's a difference of two perfect squares. So then I know that it has to be n squared minus 9 squared, which means it's just n minus 9 times n plus 9. Now, if I can't write it like this, then I'm not able to factor it into the two binomials.